Hello students, welcome to meeting two of the second semester in English literature class with me, Miss Allen. Today, you are going to have individual product one. Let's get started. In the previous meeting, we have learned about information report. I'm sure that you have already understand about how to comprehend the text. In this meeting, you have to make an essay about information report. I'll give you an example. Let's check it out. When putting together information report, you need to know the topic well. So be sure to do your research beforehand. If you are writing an information report on Titanic, for example, you have to find out some of the following facts. Number one, when and where was Titanic built? Number two, what materials was it made from? Number three, who was the captain and any other significant people involved? Next, explain the facts around Titanic's maiden voyage, such as locations and dates. Next, what caused the Titanic to sink? This is really important. And the last one, you can add any information, any important dates and statistics associated with Titanic. All right, after you find the information about the topic, now let's take a look on the writing organizer. Information report text. There are three parts of the text. Part one is introduction. We usually find this in the paragraph one. Introduction is definition or classification of the subject. It may include one definition, two classification, three brief description. Part 2 is explanation. It can be three or more paragraphs. Explanation is important facts about the subject. There are three things that you can write in this part. A. Facts about the subject set out in paragraphs. B. May include photos pictures, maps, or diagrams. C. Subheadings are often used. For example, if you are going to write about animal, you have six criteria: appearance, habitat, movement, food, behavior, life cycle. Next, if you want to write about a person, Make sure you write name, age, appearance, personality, occupation, achievements, history. If you are going to write object, do research about appearance, parts, functions, features, uses, values. And the last one, if you want to write about a place, do research about the location, climate, geography, population, culture, and history. Part 3 is Conclusion. Conclusion is also called summary or comment. It may include a summary or recommendation and a general comment about the use or history. Alright, so then I think that's all about our meeting today. I want to remind you that I can detect plagiarism, so make sure you make it by yourself. Use paraphrasing as what I explained in the day before and um, submit it in the ad model. If you have any questions related to our topic today, just feel free to ask me through ad model or WhatsApp. See you in the next meeting. Bye students!